Like, how could you do this to me? How? How could you do it? Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am here to tell you guys and show you guys my experience over exfoliating my face. I'm going to tell you how you can avoid making the same mistakes that I did. Also, how I plan to heal my skin over the next week. So, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of my experience exfoliating what, where I went wrong. When I first started exfoliating with my natural products, my skin was so happy, glowing, smooth, just glass, beautiful skin. And so, I abused it a little bit. I would do it every single day, sometimes multiple times a day, exfoliating. It's just crazy talk. So I started to notice uh, maybe last week that my skin was flaking, it was blotchy, and it was very dry, like extremely, extremely dry. That was alarming because I'm like, you know, this is this can't be dead skin because I exfoliate on a regular. I also noticed a loss of elasticity, meaning that my skin didn't have much stretch to it. Yeah, no, my skin was just, it, 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 it was very stiff. All the flexibility of my skin is like, <laughs> no, zero. I started noticing like, dark blotches on my skin like dark patches um yeah that's not normal for me and I also had like a breakout there in that area which I don't get breakouts here at all ever so I'm pretty convinced that that little breakout is connected to my skin being irritated as hell right now I knew that over exfoliating was a thing but I figured since it was like my own natural products um, and I wasn't really going hard that much that it would be okay. <laughs> no, you can't make up your own rules. Let's talk about how to avoid over exfoliating, avoid making the same mistakes that I did. Firstly, avoid exfoliating more than once a week. Examples of exfoliating would be dermaplaning or shaving, using a face scrub, using a coarse rag or a face brush, or using chemical peels. Because there's many ways to exfoliate. Like when you're washing your face with your fingers, that's an extremely gentle exfoliation session. So on top of the gentle exfoliation that you're already getting, to, to be exfoliating and really taking off all your skin every single day, it, you don't have to do that. And um, I, I, like I said, I don't know what I was thinking because I knew the rules. But I was like, yo, this honey and brown sugar scrub is lit. I don't think it's gonna hurt me. Look at me now. My second tip to avoid over exfoliating is really being gentle. Your face is super delicate. So by gentle, I mean like your actual movements when you do actually exfoliate. Be mindful. Keep in mind that your, the skin on your face is much more sensitive, much more delicate than the skin anywhere else on your body. So when you're drying your face, don't do this with a rag or a towel. Instead, you can dab it dry. You know, nice little dab. You know, keep, keep, keep things cute. Um, but yeah, I was also doing that because I'm like, oh, that's a little extra exfoliation for, for places I miss. You're rubbing your skin off and it's not going to be happy. My skin is very angry with me right now. It's like, how could you do this to me? How? How could you do it? So tip number three is to moisturize. Make sure that your skin is moisturized and nourished. If you're exfoliating and your skin and your fresh new skin is just drying out, it's not going to be as healthy as it possibly can. So moisturizers such as facial oils, facial lotions, and my personal favorite is cocoa butter. So now that we talked about how to avoid putting your skin through all that trauma, I am going to tell you how I plan to heal my skin over the next week. So firstly, I plan to heal by practicing being gentle with my face because I am a little bit rough when it comes to my face and washing it um, even when I'm drying it so I'm really gonna be babying my skin over the next 30 days and into the future because I realized that the wear and tear that you put on your face it will catch up with you and um, it's not okay <laughs> 
The second thing I'm going to do to heal and protect my skin is to use natural products such as aloe vera, which is going to be my main ingredient. Aloe vera has so many different benefits for your skin. I am going to do a separate video about my results over the next seven days on it, so definitely stay tuned for that video. Definitely subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, and um, you'll be seeing my journey through the next week. The third thing that I'm going to do is to use gentle cleansers. Super gentle exfoliants. I'm not going to use abrasive exfoliants on my face at all. Just so that my skin can um, bounce back to life. It's really been an eye-opening experience. I really was ODN with the with the scrub. Like, I'm not saying that it's wrong to use this. And maybe one day I will go back to my um, brown sugar scrub. But um, yeah, for now I'm going to hold off. And I'm just going to use this fresh honey to exfoliate. So yeah, only gentle exfoliants for me, for now. I, I would never, ever, 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 ever want anyone to go through what, what, what I'm going through right now. Because it's a little bit scary to um, look at your face and see that uh, something going on, something's going wrong. So, um, I really hope this was helpful. Um, I love y'all, and I will see y'all very soon in the next video. Um, 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 um.